This year, Drake's are partnering with Can Do For Kids and Heart Kids for our Christmas Ball Ball campaign. For just $2, you'll help to support local kids with all donations, providing vital funds for children who are blind or living with a heart disease. I'm here today at Can Do South, an incredible new resource for the people of South Australia. This amazing facility provides the people of SA of all ages and abilities with the space to learn and connect and provide them with essential life skills. It comprises of spaces that cater to a wide range of therapies, including speech therapy, occupational therapy, assistive technology, and Auslan training. Your money will go to supporting this assistive technology room. Here we are in the assistive technology room room that Drake's are proud to be sponsoring and I'm here with Adriana mm. so you can tell us what actually happens in this room. So in this room we provide a lot of assessments to see what is the going to be the most suitable piece of technology for the child or teenager okay. or youth with a visual impairment. I guess there are so many different pieces of technology and stuff out there and here we have the opportunity to see which is going to be the best fit or which multiple types of tools to add to their toolkit. Because I'm assuming like if you're under the age of five, there's a huge difference than someone just about to go into high school, for yeah. instance. Yeah, definitely. So um, it's meeting them where they are at in their journey. So for someone around the age of five would be looking at some pre-writing type of things and looking at picture books and reading books and getting to know how they can access those things that their peers are doing as well. Some of my personal favourite books yep. are picture books. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I guess with picture books, a lot of kids, they might be able to see a blurred vision of it. But if we can give them some tools to magnify it, they can see the finer details that all of their peers are seeing yep. as well. So it's that equal. So what sort of activities are they doing particularly in this room? In this room, we'll be conducting a lot of assessment. Yep. Um, so, and then also be providing some of the training that goes along with that assessment. So with the, some of these tools, it does require training because when you are, you are magnifying, you're enhancing the image of a zoomed in section of a book, yep. but you're kind of missing out on everything that's around that. So they require some of that training to know that, okay, we need to move things around to know that there's more more things to look at than what's just appearing on the screen. So I've noticed in here there's a lot of things that help with magnifying. Mm. Is there other things here other than things that magnify? Yeah, definitely. Some of the tool products that we have also provide, it's called OCR, Optical Character Recognition Technology, and it converts um, anything that's written into speech. Okay. So they're able to access the inf information auditorily. So, so that can read off the book and then sound it out so yeah. you can hear it. So you don't actually need mum and dad for reading in Exactly. Here. So okay. It sounds like a cool place yeah, yeah. for some of the kids, huh? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> How critical is it for Can Do For Kids to open up this brand new centre here in the assistive technology room we are? How critical is that for uh, your clients? So critical. Um, so with NDIS, which is the space we work in nowadays, NDIS requires us to test and assess and find the most suitable bit of technology for the child that's going to serve them for years to come. Yeah. And they need that information from us. So this provides us an opportunity to explore the range of things available and see what we can apply for for them. And it will also allow us while they're in that waiting period of finding out if they're successful and getting something, also give them something so they're not missing out during that waiting time. Yeah. So in this room specifically, mm -hmm. what benefits do you think are going to come out of having this specific assistive technology room? Well, I guess it's just giving children that independence and control over interacting with their environment, just yeah. like any typical vision or a typical developing child is. So it's all about that really equal and immediate access so that they're not missing out. And the equipment, it's not cheap. No. So <laughs> to be able to bring that into an area where children can get the most of it is fantastic. I'd like to thank you for having a chat with us. It's been much appreciated. By buying a $2 Drake's Christmas ball ball, you'll be supporting this vital therapy space and ensuring that Can Do will have all the technology they need to allow the kids using this facility to have access to everything their peers do.